Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and welcome back to Ask the Artist. This is my series where I talk to professionals working in all sorts of art fields, ranging from comic books to concept art for video games and film, key art, and all that fun stuff. Uh, you know, just as an inspiration for all of you guys who are aspiring to be artists, to do art as a career. And today's interview is with someone very special, and it's someone I looked up to for a long time. What I wanted to show you here, this right here, is my issue of Thrax number one from Event Comics. If you don't know Event Comics, that was uh, Joe Quesada's uh, comic book company he launched a long, long time ago. But this issue of Thrax, or this character Thrax, was created by a Marvel veteran, and his name is David Ross. Dave Ross, and uh, you won't see it here, he actually got it signed, maybe I'll do a close-up of it. Uh, but Dave was actually inspiration of me. Dave actually was the one who gave me my very first advice when I was trying to break into comics, and this was way back, I believe, 1999. Uh, let, me, let me just check here quickly. Uh, this was published in this was published in 96 so this must have been like 98 98 maybe 97 98 when I first met Dave Ross and um, because he was selling this issue at the time so it must have been 97 long time ago and he gave me my very first um, my very first uh, advice when it came to my artwork. He really liked my artwork. What I did was, I did a sample of Thrax versus uh, Spider-Man and he really loved it at the time. And you could tell he just cared. He just cared about, you know, trying to see that I would succeed. And he gave me all these great tips and motivation. Fast forward to today, fast forward to today, He's teaching at a school. It's called Max the Mutt School for um, School for Animation and Design, and I teach there as well. And for the past year, I actually got to know Dave pretty well, and we've talked a lot. And uh, Dave is just a wealth of information, just a wealth of information. And you could tell he's not there for a paycheck. He really, really cares about all of these students. He cares about the students' future, and he has a lot of wonderful advice for you know for anyone upcoming in art okay he also has a book out that we will talk about during this interview but once again this interview was conducted by my buddy Jonathan it's funny he, like Dave is a good friend of mine I'm not the one doing the interview but my buddy Jonathan did a spectacular job I was busy at Fan Expo I couldn't do the interview but uh, <laughs> but Jonathan did a fantastic job interviewing uh, Dave Ross and you are about to watch that interview interview so please do play close attention as my friend Dave Ross, he's gonna drop some awesome knowledge on you. Why don't we hear from my friend Dave right now? Hey YouTube, this is John for Box Office Artist here at the Fan Expo with Dave Ross. How's it going, Dave? Yeah, I'm great. How's it going with you? It's going fantastic. It's an amazing show, man. There's just so much going on here. It just gets so bigger and bigger. Really cool. Every year. I want to see everywhere. It's great. Now, for people that might be meeting you for the first time on this video, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, well, I'm a comic book artist who has been uh, classically trained in animation back in the early days, which is hugely helpful. I've been drawing for Marvel, for DC, for Dark Horse, for quite a few years, various titles. Avengers West Coast is one that comes to mind. Alpha Flight is another one. But I'm also teaching as well. I'm teaching at a school here in Toronto called Max Lamut College of Animation, Art and Design. And we have a full-fledged sequential arts program. It's a three-year, soon to be four-year diploma program in how to draw comics and graphic novels. And you also have a book with yes. regards to the book is that called, type of instruction. Yeah, Freehand Figure Drawing for Illustrators, uh -huh. Mastering the Art of Drawing from Memory. And it's a book that's, that's a major publisher, Penguin Random House, and that means that you can find it in most of the bookstores around. What would you say is one of the most common mistakes that you see people make as they're building their art? and developing their style. I think, I think in general, uh, young artists tend to uh, try to create a finish of, on their work too quickly and not have the solid underdrawing that they should have. And that's really what the book was about as well, was preparing them properly, starting simply, working with a simple mannequin figure, learning how to pose characters, learning how to maintain proportions consistently on characters, learning how to deal with foreshortening early on. All of those are so important and being able to be have the freedom, basically, of being able to draw figures without any immediate reference around, just doing it off the top of your head. If you can do that, then, of course, you can carry on and do the detailing, the shading, uh, adding the features, adding the anatomy, any lighting that you like, and that's great. Finishing is important, but it doesn't come first. 
And so many young artists put that ahead of, of the actual fundamentals of the solid underdrawing. Uh, with the students, one of the main things that they'll tend to do is do these very strange crops on characters. And I always say, the main rule of thumb to keep in mind for a young artist is, be careful where you crop characters. Don't crop them at the joints. No cropping the feet off a character. No cropping at an elbow. No cropping at a knee. No cropping right across the crotch. No cropping the head off. Don't cut a character's face through the eyeballs. I mean, these are all... I don't know, they, they seem like common sense things and yet we see young artists doing this time and again. So my feeling is, be careful with that. How you, how you crop, how you frame your images is going to be really, really crucial to the, the power of your artwork. Because you can do a good pose, a great figure, but then if he's poorly cropped, uh, it will take the energy right out of the pose or make it confusing for a viewer. So that clarity is important, but the dynamism is important too. I try in my own work, when I'm cropping scenes, cropping characters, to never allow an even amount of space around the characters. The idea being that you want it to feel like you're the roving photographer and this action's going on all around you and you're taking all these quick snapshots and they're never quite perfect and they're never quite showing the whole figure. A little bit is going offside somewhere and there's a little extra space over on the other side of the character. That makes it interesting, that gives the image energy Whereas, again, with young artists, they tend to try to be very precise. A lot of them are, are really trying to do it right. They're very serious about it. And they'll put this perfect box around a figure. And I say to them, look, you just put them in their coffin. That box is a coffin. You just killed the pose. So try to think a little more erratically about what you do with those. It'll give the, the visual energy to them. You've got to approach this with patience. And you've got to think about it at all the best instruction in the world and all the best artists in the world will tell you the same thing. Uh, you got to do the reps and that means little studies first um, and lots of them. Um, hundreds of arms, hundreds of legs, every angle you can think of. Freehand ones and ones off of, off of photograph and ones directly off of models. You just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and, and I would say because of the whole impatience issue I would say don't get discouraged to any of them. Uh, I know from my own experience and from the experience of many, many other artists that I've talked to, that the learning curve is not a smooth and even thing. So there'll be times when you'll be repeating and studying and repeating and studying what you're doing and you'll feel like you're making no progress at all and it'll be very frustrating. But then all of a sudden you'll leap ahead and you'll look back and you wonder what took so long to get there. It's never even and smooth. Uh, it's never seems to be directly related to how much effort you're putting in but it is all good, in, good for, the, for the end product. And in the end, you will learn, you will develop, uh, you will see over the longer haul a lot of incredible improvement in your work. Um, you need to have the patience, and that's all there is to it. And there you go. That was our interview with David Ross. And what a great interview. Thank you to my buddy Dave. I'll uh, shake your hand when I, when I see you back at school, my friend. Um, but make sure you pick up his book. Okay, pick up his book. It's a wonderful book, amazing book. I will have a link to it down below. You can buy it by there. But it is an amazing resource for any of you, especially if you want to get into comics or even just into illustration. It is an amazing book. It's called uh, Freehand Figure Drawing for Illustration amazing 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 book go get it right now and uh, to my buddy Dave thank you so much for doing this interview you can follow him in the links down below but also to let you know um, after this interview was done we actually had a roundtable discussion about everything that Dave talked about uh, during his interview and you can watch that on the box office artist podcast the box office artist podcast which is linked down below but at this point you should be able to find it on iTunes the Play Store uh, sorry Google Play and um, also there's the RSS feed so you could input that into any podcatcher but you should be able to get it let me know if you're having trouble, having trouble finding the podcast but we go in depth of what everything that Dave Ross said in this interview so thank you guys for following along hey I would love to know what is the main thing that you got out of this particular interview let me know in the comments down below and if you have any questions about this particular interview or anything that was said in this interview please do also do let me know in the comments down below a huge shout out to my friend 
friend Jonathan, the co-host of the Box Office Artist Podcast. Thank you for conducting this interview. To my buddy Martin, who also edited this video. Thank you so much, my friend. Hey, if you are new to my channel, you looked around, you like what you see, well, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, well, I will be your friend for life. You also hit that like button, share this video with all of your friends. And my name is James. I am the Box Office Artist. You can follow me on all the social media, all down below. I'm here to say keep drawing, and I'll see you all tomorrow.